Hey everybody, Stephanie Person here. I wanted to shoot a video on and I was inspired to, uh, I haven't done a video in a little while now, so I was inspired to shoot the camera on and to really share how I was able to gain some clarity this year for my business specifically. And I hope that these tips um, and just me kind of sharing what I've gone through, you know, since really New Year's Eve, you know, when you make all those goals for your business and where you want to go and what you want to do in 2015, you know, how do you even accomplish those goals and how do you even really, it's not even about setting the goals and it's not about accomplishing the goals. It's about having clarity on what you need to do on a daily basis to get to your end result. And so I want to share my story um, and kind of, you know, what happened to me so that you can really go and apply it to your business. And now if you are a mom uh, working your business from home, it can be a little bit tough. And so, you know, when you uh, are, whether you're network marketing or you have services or, you know, you're blogging from home, whatever it may be, you have to get really good at finding that time throughout your day and when you do have time to build your business you need to know exactly what you need to do to get to your goal so like everybody else on New Year's I you know made all these um, goals and I said 2015 is gonna be my year of increase that was my one word that um, that just came to mind and that I really was grabbing a hold of that word and saying 2015 is my year of increase and so I asked, um, you know, my Facebook community what their one word was, and I got some amazing feedback. Um, but here's the deal. It doesn't matter what goals you set for yourself. If you don't have clarity, you are going to be stressed out. You are going to be, it, your mind is going to be in so many different places because you don't even know, you'll be busy, and you won't even know exactly what you need to do to get to your next goal. And so come in the next, even in the next 30 days, come February, even even into March, you're going to say, I didn't reach that one little small goal that I had for myself. And then you just end up giving up, right? So I was inspired to shoot this video from a conversation that I had from uh, with somebody this morning. And I was giving them some feedback on the number one thing that you need to do in your business right now, take a look at whether you're just starting out, you just started a business, or whether you've been a veteran, maybe been doing it for a couple years, um, or even maybe even longer than that. Take a look at what you do on a daily basis in your business. So if you um, own a network marketing company, what do you need to do in your business every single day to get to the goal that you have set for yourself in the next six months and the next year, right? What does that even look like? So how many, you have to really break it down. And when I did some, you know, uh, coaching clients a couple months ago, I had them break down how much money, when you sell this one particular product, how much money do you make from that? And then you can say, I need to sell five of those things to hit my monthly goal or whatever it may be. So you need to really break it down. You need to know exactly what you need to do. So my story is I had set these goals for my business for 2015. And now I'm a social media manager and consultant from home and I have, you know, a couple clients that I work with, but that's all I can really handle because I'm a mom of two, I'm a wife, you know, I take care of the house, I, you know, do all these things. And so really what launched me into that space was um, after I had my daughter, I, my background is in network marketing. So I've had any business that you can say that's a network marketing, I've probably been a part of it. So the last seven years, um, I've been an entrepreneur from home and able to provide for my family. But after I had my daughter, I just said, you know, I wanted something that was totally 100% mine. I, de I decided what products and services I was going to sell, and I decided how much I was going to get paid from it. So I set everything on my own. So I launched my own uh, website. And I became a blogger and I love to blog, you know, about my experiences and really, you know, what it meant to really be a mom working from home. And I started giving tips to moms um, just like me in business, building a business from home. So then I launched this whole entire community, Rock and Mompreneurs. And so, but then I turned this blog thing into a business, of course, because that's what I kind of do. And then I started making money from home with my blog. So now if you go onto my website, stephperson.com, you still see the blogging course that I created last year. Um, so I still have that up. But then I started saying, okay, you know, that's really great and all, and it launched me into the space. But I got, even in my network marketing career, and then when I was a blogger and making money from my website, I loved social media. 
I was able, my last um, business that I was with, I used social media probably 90% to find new clients, build relationships, and so I got really good at it. And I'm a social butterfly when you meet me in person, and so it really translates into my work. So I said, you know, I would love to do this whole social media thing and get paid for it and help people who don't really understand. It's not just about posting. Anybody can do that. It's about wording. It's about creating content. It's about the right times in your posting. It's about all these different campaigns. There's a lot that goes into it, right? And so I really started to do it for my own business and getting, um, you know, I built my last business prob probably solely online, which was really cool. But I had to because I was a stay-at-home mom. So then when I launched my, my blogging career, um, I just, I, the one thing that remained was social media. And I said, you know what? I think I have something here. I think I can turn the social media because everything about social media interests me. I want to learn more about it. I love doing it. And I love taking a small business or even a person that has a network marketing team and I can teach them how to do social media. I can implement that for them. It gives me 100% joy doing it. And I think I'm pretty good at it. So here's the deal. You have to take a look at your current business. Does it really truly fluff your feathers? Do you really absolutely love everything about it? And you have to be totally honest with yourself. So when I started launching into this whole, I wanted to do coaching and I was trying to do an online coaching program which it's, if anybody has launched a coaching program online that's automated, bravo, because it puts, you have a lot of work that you have to do if you can't outsource some of those things. So I started, you know, dibbling and dabbling into doing that, and I thought, I need to have all these things in place. I was creating the content for the course. So then when I launched it, the people could get this one-on-one -on -one coaching for me. But it had nothing to do with social media. It was just about sewing into people, how do you build a business? What does it take? How do you have the right mindset to do it? All these different components that goes into building a business, um, which is all great. And I would love to do that someday, but it doesn't give me 100% joy. So I really had to get totally honest with myself and say, yeah, I could make money there. And if you are an entrepreneur, you can make money doing anything, right? But what are you good at? And then build your business around that. So you can have, so for me, social media is my main thing that I love doing. And I love everything about it. And I love helping people do social media. But the online coaching and all these other things that I was trying to do, and like, oh, ebook over here, and I'm going to do this over here. You start to clutter your time, you clutter your mind, you clutter all of these different things that you can't even focus on one different thing. So I'm going to ask you, how many projects do you have going on right now? Do you have five, six, seven, maybe even ten projects going on? How many of those can you actually say that you will be able to finish? You probably have goals to finish them, but you will never finish them. Why? Because you have to get really good at one thing. People can say, I'm a really good multitasker. No, you're not. You're probably just really good at being busy with a bunch of different things at the same time, but you never actually get those things done or get done efficiently and effectively, right? So I had to get really honest with myself and say, what is it that gives me 100% joy that I love doing and I know that I'm good at and I can position myself in the market without being embarrassed about it? And I have total confidence in that area. And it was social media for me. So whatever that is for you, you and if you're in network marketing, you have to get really honest with yourself. Does everything about your business and what you're doing, the people you're working with, everything about it, does you love it? Do you absolutely love it? You can say I love the product, but do you love everything about the business? You have to get really honest with yourself. And that's when it can be a little bit difficult. So. I hope that you can just take that story of, you know, what happened to me and um, translate it into your own business and even in your own life. Because, you know, for me, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm a mom of two. I'm a wife. I have a lot going on. You know, I'm a big part of my church. Like, I have a lot of things going on. And literally, the few hours a day that I have to devote to anything social media that I love, 
I have to know exactly what I'm going to be doing on a daily basis. So for my clients, I have one particular client. She's so amazing and I love her and I love working with her and I love giving her content. I love doing her social media. I love doing her marketing and her videos for her. It's great, but because that is my niche. And I'm not going to clutter myself with all these other extra things because that's when you get stressed out. When you get stressed out, it's because you're doing way too many things that you can't handle and you think that you can because you want to make money in all these different areas. So get good at one thing. And then when that becomes a self-sustaining self -sustaining engine on its own, then you can launch into something else. Then you can maybe add on something else. So maybe you could launch another ebook series or whatever it may be. So get good at one thing. If you want to launch your blog this year and you want to make money, just do that. <laughs> just learn how to launch your blog. When I first launched my blog, I had to take it one step at a time because I just had my daughter. I was nursing and typing with one hand, you know? So get really good at doing one thing. So I had to take it topic by topic. So I wanted to learn about SEO. I learned about it. I implemented it. I learned how to do traffic then. I implemented, I learned about it, implemented. So it was little by little, step by step. And then I can say overall, I learned all these different things, but I had to do it one step at a time. So do that with your own business. Now, if you have a network marketing company, you can say, okay, this is my goal. This is my monthly goal of the money that I would like to make in that particular month. So in 30 days, what would you like to make? What does that actually mean? How many products do you need to sell? How many packages do you need to sell to get to that amount, monthly amount? So then you know I need to sell um, two of my top packages to be able at that monthly goal and then sustain that. So you know exactly how to get there. Then how do you go about selling those packages? Do you need to do more uh, home parties? Do you, what's your biggest selling product that you have in your in your business right now? So you have to get really good at um, it, like your biggest selling product and promote the crap out of that product. That's what you need to do. So get really good at whatever it is that you're doing. And then you will have clarity and you won't be as stressed out. You'll be able to, if you're a mom like me and you're watching this, and you'll be able to close your computer, shut off your cell phone for a little bit, go play with your kids, sew into your children, because that's what's really important. And that's why we're building a business to begin with, right? Because we want to provide, we want to have that lifestyle, we want to have something that's ours. So then you can really check out for a little bit because you need to have that. You have to be able to check out where you're not thinking about your business while you're playing with your children. I do it too. And so when you can get good at being in the moment with everything that you're doing, but you have to have clarity with your business and you know exactly what you're going to be promoting, how you're going to be promoting it, and do one topic at a time. So that is my nuggets in under 15 minutes. I hope that I wasn't rambling too much and I hope that you got, a, you know, some different nuggets from it because I really love to see, you know, people succeeding in their businesses from home and, um, and I don't want to see anybody stressed out doing it because it's tough when you have, you're juggling all these different things and, um, you can't be working 24 seven because you'll just, you're just staying busy <laughs> and that's it. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't yet, head over to stephperson.com or come find me on Facebook. I would love to chat. If you have any questions, send them on over. I'd love to work with you. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.